Hey everyone, welcome to the video. I'm Eric, if you don't know that already. Um, one thing I never point out is I'm, I'm American living in Germany. I've been living here for about four years. But it's been ten years since the first time I came here. So, I know the area a bit well. I'm not, I'm not some new... If you're coming to my channel the first time, if this is the first video you're seeing, I'm not... The typical American first time in Germany. Oh, look, I've been here for a couple months. Here's my review on Germany. No, that's not it. And, but, uh, and so, but, yeah. Um, today's topic is something a little bit more serious. Um, I'm going to be very careful with my words. Because, for one, um... I'm talking about this mostly because it's something that's always brought up. A big problem in the U.S. It's always brought up so much in, in my comments. Like the, the my video for being hated for living in Germany. It's brought up a lot in that. The police video was obviously brought up a lot. Um... I'm not even sure yet what I'm going to title this video because YouTube doesn't like this sort of topic. And I'm kind of wondering if I can get by without even saying it because sometimes these videos get reviewed. But um, I want to share some quick thoughts and I want to keep this simple and a bit centered. Now, when a lot of you think about problems in the US, what do you think about when it comes to problems in the US? Like, what's one of the biggest problems? Pew, 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 pew. Yes. Uh, and um, it's amazing to me to see to witness, to read how quickly, particularly the German mind, everyone goes very quickly to this topic. Everyone thinks that this is such a big problem in the US. I don't think it's such a big problem in the US. Now, hold on. I'm sure someone is just pulled their hair out saying, Eric, what the hell are you talking about? Of course, these pew, 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 and the Wild West America is a problem. That's yes and no. Like, is that really the problem? Like, these things have always been there. Now, um, I'm going to link some videos. Uh, there's a guy, a channel called Bo of the Fifth Column. Um, I love Bo's videos and greatly, I greatly agree with a lot of what he says. Now he gets, I'm going to link a series that one of you, like I'm very familiar with Bo's videos, but one of you suggested this particular one. There's three parts. If you care about this topic, I recommend you watch all of this. It's brilliant. Like it's the most amazing regarding a topic like this. It's, it's, it's YouTube. Like if I could give awards for YouTube cinema, he deserves it for the way that he talks about this topic and the problem in the U S. Um, and I will touch a little bit on that because it is not the pew 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 itself. It is the culture and the mentality. When you recognize that there's a problem, the best way to deal with it is to understand it. Now, a lot of people think that that these need to be taken away. Like just make tighter laws. Yes, make there, there's some things that can be done, but it's never going to be enough. As long as this is the focus of attention. 
because these things that are killing people, it's just a tool. Like this up here, America's got bigger problems that they're not dealing with. And yet mental health is a big one. Physical health falls in behind that. But what causes these problems? Like the resources to, for one, the, the resources to deal with mental health problems. Now, like something regarding Germany, okay? A lot of you people are familiar, at least by name, of a German rock band called Rammstein. Now, the lead singer lately has been doing a lot of solo work, and he released a video recently, a song called Ich hasse Kinder. Um, but the depth of this, a few days ago, he released a short film. And the meaning behind this song stems from the mental abuse. It's about a kid that was abused in school and traumatizes him to the point that in his adult life, he hunts down these abusers and kills them. So that's like, obviously that's a big problem that a lot of people have. You know, if you've got this German creating a story that takes place in, I think it was Moscow is where the video takes place. But my point being, this is a big problem in the U.S. And that's where you see the school shootings. Now, aside from that, a lot of the other problems is um, the poverty. Like the United States is designed, the United States system is designed to keep people poor, impoverished, just working, 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 not getting ahead, undereducated, which is also a big thing. Poor, edu poor education, poor health, physical and mental, and then just a poor income. Like, to really be struggling and knowing that, like, you, you just can't get any further in life. Um, that's where a lot of these people give up. Like, ugh, mentally, a line becomes crossed. And then you have a lot of the crime. Um, a lot of the murders and whatnot. So, in my opinion, these are the real problems. It's not the item itself. It's the person handling it. And on top of it, um, it the culture. Like, the culture really feeds into this. Now, I'm, I'm just sharing my opinion. And regarding the culture part, if, if you're with me so far, if you have any interest, please watch these videos from Bo that I will link. Um, the way that he explains, it, it's brilliant. Like he, he goes step by step. As I said, there's three videos, step by step. He addresses the item, he addresses the laws, and then he addresses the culture. Now the culture really feeds into it, but um, from my perspective, like I grew up in a household that hunted, there was guns in the house in the, in the nineties, I went to a really tiny high school um, in Northern Wisconsin. Hunting was very popular. Almost, almost m the majority of the high school students did it rifle hunting deer like it was allowed for um, the students to bring their hunting rifles in like if they didn't want to leave them in the car during the day they were able to bring the rifles in 
and store them. There was one teacher that had a closet and everyone could store it. Like this was common. This was nothing. Like everyone went through hunter safety courses. Everyone was trained how to use them, how, how to use the rifles. So like this, and this was only 25 years ago. So we have seen the culture really change drastically. Yeah, so we've got these cultural problems within the society. Now, let's say that, like, yeah, there are some laws. There are things that should be done quickly. To Like, steps need to be taken. Yeah, there's plenty of things that can be done. But if you have the idea that, that all of these things should be taken away, it's this will just like it'll be war people will die you've got americans that literally have this attitude like nice people that probably wouldn't do anything but they've got this strong attitude that if you want to take my guns then you have to come and take them out of my hands Meaning, meaning the government would have to go door to door and forcibly remove these from the homes. People will die. And yeah, a lot of people, like, if the government decided to, to abolish everything, yeah, some people would hand them over. And some people would play ball. But... The people that wouldn't, like, if you could get the government to to go for this, like, most of these people, they this is what they've been wanting for. The people that understand the Second Amendment, like, they've been waiting their whole lives for this. So, people will die. Like, it'll be, yeah, that, that'll probably be the biggest war. Like, if, if if something like this happened, but I don't think it ever will. I really don't think in any of our lifetimes, I don't think the government will take these weapons away. I, I don't think so. Like, it, it's too big. It's too big of a problem. Like, the amount of... The amount of manpower that it would take to go and reclaim every known weapon but here's something else why is this something oh i didn't this wasn't one of my top things but why are the manufacturers never at blame i don't understand this like uh, regulate that like it's it's too easy everyone's making everyone's going crazy making these weapons like, but nobody is, I don't, I, I can't recall any time, you know, people get up, get upset about these, these collectors, you know, these people that have all tons of guns in their house. Why are we getting upset about them? We're not getting upset about the manufacturers, the ones producing all of this stuff. You know, like... It's so cheap and easy to get this stuff. Like, why are they not to blame? Hmm? Yeah, because that's not... That's not the... Prerogative. Like, that's not... That's not the intention. So. Um, yeah. There's my thoughts. I don't think it's a big problem. I think the problem is deeply within the people and the culture itself. Like, understand that. Fix these problems. These are the problems that I want to see fixed. I, I don't I don't want to see people living in poverty. Um, I I don't want to see kids bullied in school. I don't want to see these people 
needing to resort to uh, such violence to to get ahead in life or, you know, as a last ditch effort, you know, it's like all fucks are given, like everything's gone. Like they just don't care anymore. These are the problems that really need to be fixed. And regardless of difficulty, these are the problems that need to be fixed. You know, like that's, yeah. Now, um, I'm except I'm expecting a shit storm of comments. Now, uh, I'm not gonna argue. Like, my opinion is pretty. Like, I want to keep this simple. You know, like I made my point. I don't think it's a problem, and what I do think is the problem is what these people have to deal with because no one cares about them. Um, I'm not, I'm not going to, I'm not going to get into, into any arguments in the comments regarding a topic. If, it, if it's something that Bo talks about in the videos that I link, then I'm not like, he answers a lot. Like, yeah. So this is my, Simple opinion. I, I like to try to keep things as simple as possible. I'm not going to argue major details. Like I'm not, I don't want to talk about the laws because that's like, it's just blowing up. Like I don't, I don't have so much time. Like we could, we could talk in circles forever. No. So this was a long winded this was a long-winded opinion, but obviously it's like, it's, uh, there's a lot to it, you know, take care of the people and maybe this weapon problem will go away on its own. That's, you know, take care of the people first. So thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. This might be my longest video by the time it's all put together. And, um, yeah, I think I'm, I need to make another a simple video next. So subscribe if you haven't, click that like button. It helps for the algorithm. Uh, I'm expecting lots of comments. I don't have to ask for that. The little trink gelt things down below as usual. And I appreciate having you here. Thanks for listening to me at this next tomorrow.